global economy bleeding. This way, as we observe over here, deprivation, deprivation. Now, what is required in order to fill this gap and eliminate this deprivation? That is a demand over here where former bank employees have gathered in order to secure some benefits which they are not being able to avail as public coffers have been emptied. Of course they have a demand. Of course it needs to be fulfilled. But how come? There should be a reason. There should be a reason why it should be done. It should be done because it should be done. It's human demand. Every human has their rights. But, after all, means are required to fulfill dreams. How come the dreams be fulfilled of these former government bank employees when public coffers have been emptied by corrupt credit decision makers of these public sector banks themselves? A few corrupt credit decision makers who created NPAs, that is non-performing assets for Indian nation, as they emptied the public coffers, comparatively private sector banks are in global top chart at top positions. Shame after shame on humanity that whole humanity is suffering, including the very public sector bank employees, apart from those corrupt ones who created NPAs or the non-performing assets or the loans or the advance or the credit that cannot be recovered as it was meant not to be recovered because of the graft that was paid to the public sector banks credit decision makers who has who have created all this menace? A lot of trouble for the world to sustain because of this handful few. Those corrupt ones creating pro clo lending need to be prosecuted. As we can observe here, the corrupt ones have created this economic turmoil. We must trap the weapons global citizen, everyone from the globe now.